if you listen to the engine, it's revving up and down, doesn't sound like it's going even tick over. And this 2.2 litre Ford diesel. Yellow wire there that I just showed you, that yellow wire, that's going into the common rail, the high pressure common rail. You can see the engine actually moving about a bit. Well, maybe not showing so well on the camera. There's the sensor, common rail, fluctuating up and down quite a bit. Let's bring this down and see what it is. It's going up and down almost to that line, which is 1.8, which is quite high. I'll bring it down a bit. That's a bit high for this. Try and get in the middle of it. That's probably the middle of the wave, 1.3. See how it's up and down? I don't know what these spikes are that it's seeing in that sensor either, but we're seeing them in all of this. See there? It's passing right through the mall, whatever it is. I might add another channel and see if one of the injectors are causing that. Although, it's not really spaced out far enough to be just one injector. It could be two injectors that are failing. Or it could be this control unit. That's what I'm in as well. This uh, control valve, metering valve, the suction valve or fuel metering valve, inlet valve, right there that I'm showing in the light on. You shouldn't double uh, back probe or double T-pin like I have. It's not recommended in case you short them out. Uh, if you are going to do it, just be careful. Make sure you've got a good contact. I'm going to change some parts and see if it stops this revving up and down. Can't really see anything in here that's changing. If I pick that up, you can see some of them are staying small and some are bigger. But it's not a ground issue. I've seen this, the red, the red one's the ground. But if you ground it out totally, the car stalls. It, it's not a bad ground, it's just the way it is. And here we can see, I really need to do a sink and see if there's one injector that's playing up. See there, it's going up and down. I don't know if that fits in with one injector. It might be an indication that there's an injector on its way out. Okay, I've waited till the next day so I could see what I'm doing and replace this um, fuel metering solenoid. I'm going to recheck it, but already it sounds much better. I haven't coated it to the car just yet. That does make a difference though, so I need to do that still. But it's not surging, it's not going up and down in the revs, so that seems to have fixed it on its own so far. Like I say, I need to code it. I could connect to the scope and see what the difference looks like on the waveform. Today's waveform, the, the gold one is the fuel rail pressure. going into there. Today it's steady. It wasn't like that yesterday. We had an average of 1.3 volts on the signal. And we've got that again today. Still don't know what all these spikes are just yet. At the moment I'm not caring because it's running okay, but I would like to see what lines up with them and figure it out. I'm just glad it's running better. It's not hunting up and down in the revs. It was only doing that yesterday. Uh, at idle. It didn't do it when you were driving. It seemed to drive okay, but it's the start of something going bad, I think. Um, yeah, it's handy here that you can actually leak an oscilloscope on a shelf. They give you a shelf to actually put it on there, because they know it's going to have problems. 
And the other thing that I'm using here because of the battery on my laptop, I'm just running a cheap laptop. This was, uh, I can't even remember the price. It's called a jumper and it's from Amazon, but it does the job for what I want. I've got an extension cable. And I'm running a, the power inverter because I had just about a dead battery. I was using this for quite a bit yesterday. It does have a good battery in it though. It usually does me for what I want. So I'm going to save that image and uh, then I'll have to go to work. Just an update though. The surgeon that you could, hopefully you could hear it yesterday. And it was all down to this. I got that one from eBay. I got a kit. Comes with the, well you can't see it. It's in here. They can leak. When it gets excessive pressure, if you imagine like a, a ball bearing on a spring and if pressure gets too high in the rail, it will blow it off, blow it off the uh, ball bearing to, to let the excess pressure back in the return pipe to go back to the tank. They can leak and that gives you problems where you're driving and it suddenly goes into limp home and you get reduced power. You switch it off, start it again. Usually that's that one leaking, but this one can cause stalling problems or just not running right to idle or high fuel. I had one, it was the same engine, but it was in um, a Citroen, I think, but that was, the fuel rail pressure was really high. It was like two and a half volts, something like that, at idle. So this one, it's right where it should be. Like I say, I'll save that image and then uh, go to work. Thanks for watching.